Apu 7, taking a look at the situation at the pump. A lot of people feeling the pain here recently. Every day we wake up, they're saying something else like Brent crude is up, it's down. You, you might have seen a slight pullback in prices, but it looks like things are about to turn up again. There's all of this talk of diesel being in short supply here and in high demand. And they're talking that it's not just the United States. They're saying that most of Europe is getting a majority of its diesel from Russia. You know, Europe gets half of its diesel from Russia. You know, they're trying to, I guess, go to war here on this world stage with someone that they get almost everything from, all their natural resources, all these other commodities, the fertilizer, all this stuff. It's like, you know, we know that this is a world stage, that these are theaters of war. But when Europe as a whole is saying that this is about to get really bad because we're not going to have the diesel that it takes to fill the trucks up, to get the, the supplies to your stores, into the gas stations to deliver all the other stuff. All the big trucks run off diesel. When this starts to happen in the United States, the trucks can't get around now because of the diesel gas situation. It is the next rung of this whole staged event that we're living through that began several years ago. And this is the newest page that we're in here. If you're trying to wrap your head around this, join me for the live streams where I can talk about this freely, censorship free, and break this down further. What we're doing to mitigate all this stuff and to survive the crazy times ahead. I'll leave links below. D Live, Patriot TV is where it's at when we're live. Hit that subscribe button for more. Much love. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Karkodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and shalom to you sincere brothers that scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. All right. I am Mashiach Arazaka from the tribe of Gad coming through the spirit. And uh, pretty much um, <clears throat> there's a gas issue going on, which is leading gas prices to skyrocket, which is also causing gas to go empty all right diesel fuel is going empty it's running dry all right and um you know i i liked this comment that this dude named john doe put up this guy named john doe he says this could really help destroy the economy and that is what exactly what is getting ready to take place all right it's going to destroy the economy all right, the global economic collapse because diesel trucks are used for what? Food resources, all right, software, computers, all right, refrigerated food, frozen food, clothes, you know, light, uh, uh, supplies on uh, resources with lights, etc. All type of things that are, you know, uh, shipped, you know, from out of the country. You know, they use diesel, uh, they use diesel trucks. You know, to deliver, uh, you know, supplies to the stores, you know, and by gas running dry with the diesel, that leads truck drivers unavailable to reach transportations. All right. And I was watching a video, just probably paraphrasing. I was watching a video um, uh, that a brother shared. And it was a diesel man, a, a guy that, that was a, a truck driver. He had to put a thousand dollars in his tank just to fill it a thousand dollars in his tank just to fill it so now gas prices is rising gas is rising dry biden just is, is just stated i believe a couple of days ago that we're going to have a food shortage all right and he met that he made that mandate three four days ago you can go and look up the article he said due to the sanction of russia all right we're going to have a food shortage in the U.S. 
So we're coming into hard times and this is going to bug a lot of people out. This is going to bug a lot of people out. People's not going to be able to get the certain resources that they used to get. All right. And this is leading into the global economic collapse, which is leading into the new world order. All right. Because they got to bring in a new system. All right. And uh, we're going to show you. So if you go to usdebtclock.org, you'll see all the countries. Look at that. In trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. Even America. America is 30 trillion. Probably more than that. All right. It says this, but more, probably more than that, man. All right. I'm just looking off of the bulletin card. I know it could be more than that because sometimes I get, you know, comments from brothers and they say it's way worse than that. OK, it, it is. But we're just basically say, showing on the debt card or how much debt it's in. All right. Yes. Yeah, probably more than this. Way more than this. But this is exactly what they got up, man. All right. But it says a uh, U.S. debt clock. And if you see, look, it says 30 trillion. All right. Look at that. 10 trillion. Look at all these countries and trillions of dollars in debt. Look at that. It's hard to get out of this debt. So they got to bring in a whole new system. All right. Which is going into what? The MOTB. Because that's going to be the new currency. All right. That is going to be the new currency. The MOTB. Look at this. This debt is going to be hard to get out of. So they got to bring in a new debt. I mean, they got to bring in a new currency to get everyone out of debt, even America. All right. But I just wanted to show that. So we're going to hit some precepts. This is Jeremiah 30 and 5. It says, for thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. We're not in a time of peace. All right. There's going to be a food shortage in the U.S. All right. That's going to bug a lot of people out. What is that going to create? That's going to create uproars. All right, people are going to start taking matters into their own hands. All right, gas right now is damn near out here in Nevada. Gas is right now is damn near six dollars. Brothers is putting, I know brothers right now that have to put seventy to eighty dollars, probably more than that, a hundred dollars in their tank to fill it up. You know, gas is just is on a high level. This is bugging people out. People are unable to do lift. They're unable to do. Uber Eats, they're unable to do Postmates, they're able, unable to do DoorDash. I'm just I'm just using that for example because, you know, those jobs that people do, they got to have gas to do that. All right. People are unable to really do those, those, those jobs. All right. Everything gas is just on a high price right now. Verse 5, it says, For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. We're not in a time of peace. We're in a time of fear, man. At verse 6, it says, as ye know and see whether a man do a travail with child. A man doesn't travail with child. A woman does. It says, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lines as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. Right. Paleness. Feeble and weak. All right. People going to bug out. People got kids. People got bills they got to pay. All right. People got to survive. People got to eat. All right. It's going to increase. Crime is going to increase. Verse 7, Alice for that day is great, so there's nothing like it. Because the time that we're coming into is worse than any time we ever had. All right? Worse than any time that we had, man. All right? We're going to come into a time that's never happened or ever before seen. All right? On this earth. Crime is going to increase. Ain't going to be able to call no 911. All right? Businesses are going to go worse. Police, gonna, police department going to go out of business, man. It's going to be military out. It's going to be a lot of violence going on. It's going to be a lot of things going on. Things that I can't even imagine that's going to happen. All right. Alice for that day is great. So there's none like it. It is even the time of Jacob trouble. And this is the time that we're coming into. All right. We're coming into those times. It says, but he shall be saved out of it. That's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Yeah, we got to go through Jacob trouble, but they're going to the elect is going to be saved out of it. They're going to be saved. All right. They got to go through Jacob trouble. But the Lord is going to is going to deliver the elect. All right. They're going to be beamed up and we're fighting for it. Lord willing, we're each and every one of us individually. We're holding on to our crowns going into this spiritual battle. All right. And on a physical one, but a spiritual one mainly. All right. We're going against a spiritual battle against ourselves, man. You know, I got another precept. Second Edris chapter 14. I mean, Second Edges chapter 15, Salakia, verse 14. It says, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. 
It says, For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. Because it's going to go into an uproar. People is not going to be able to handle not eating or being able to have water or be able to have food. This is going to bug people out. This is going to create uproars. All right. This is going to create crime. Crime is going to increase. People are going to do people are going to take matters into their own hands to be able to provide for their own families. All right. It's, they're going to have the mindset that hey, it's every person for themselves. All right. That's how it's going to be. All right. Verse 16, it says, for there shall be sedition. And I went into sedition on my previous video. It means rebellion against authority. All right. People standing up against the authority of America. They're going to overthrow this authority that's given here. They're not going to care about that. People are going to care about survival. All right. It says, for there shall be sedition among men evading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes, nor the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. This place called America is not going to have control over the so-called citizens in this country. They're going to take matters into their own hands. They're going to overthrow. They're going to try to overthrow the government. All right. They're going to try to overthrow his rules, his regulations. So he's going to have to send out the National Guards, the military. He's going to go into mainly martial law. It's going to go past the National Guard. It's going to be strictly military. And they're going to they're going to run the streets and it's going to be martial law. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. You're not going to be able to go into the city like how you do now. Everything is going to be blocked off. There's going to be checkpoints all over the place. You ain't going to be able to just go through the city like you do now. All right. This is Jacob trouble. This is exactly martial law in this precept. Verse 18, it says, for because of their pride and their city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid because the things that Jacob is going to see is going to blow their fucking mind. They're going to see people eating people, cutting people off, cannibalism. All right. Killing, raping. It's going to be a lot of violence out here, man. Just, you know, even things that I ain't even thinking of right now is going to be happening in that time, man. Crime is going to increase. All right. Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor because this is what it's going into. People got so-called day ones and homeboys out there. Your homeboys is going to betray you in that time because they got families that they own that they got to help feed and, 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 and try to survive with. It says a man shall have no it says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for a great tribulation. And this is what's gonna happen because there ain't gonna be no food, there ain't gonna be no gas, all right. And you people that got food stacked up, you're gonna be robbed. They're gonna rob you for your food. I'm not saying I'm gonna do that, but that's what other people are gonna do in that time. Because they going it's gonna be a scarcity of food. You ain't gonna be able to go into the store and buy no food. The shelves is gonna be empty. You know, the lack of bread. So people are going to betray people. You know, people are going to help people, you know, and people are going to realize that they got more food. You know, a, 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 a Jake is going to give another close friend of his some food for his family, but he going to want more. He going to say, yo, this is good, but what are we going to do for the next couple of weeks? What are we going to do for the, this is what Jake is going to be thinking in his head. What are we going to do the next couple of weeks? Because Jake, if he got a woman with him, a carnal woman in that time. Women always is able to seduce a carnal man, so they just constantly a woman gonna be constantly nagging. What are we gonna do? Yo, your friend gave you that much food, but we what are we gonna do the next two three weeks? We we only got this much food to survive with. Instead of being content with that, you know, Jake gonna get persuaded in his mind by his woman. All right, woman gonna be nagging him in that time. We need more food. We need more food. What you gonna do? And the friend, all he gonna think in his head is, damn man, I hate to do my homie like this, but I need all his food. And he's going to take all his food. He's going to rob his food, man. It says, spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, because of the lack of food. He's going to say, this is what Jay going to say. I'm sorry, man. You my homeboy and all that. But, hey, I got kids, man. I need everything you got. And he's going he gonna to rob his own. He's going to rob his own buddy. It says, for the great tribulation, the great tribulation, starvation, you know. People going to do whatever they can to provide for their families. This is the time that we are coming up, coming into, man. All right. I got another precept. Proverbs 1 and 22, it says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and a scrawny's delight in their scrawny and fools hate knowledge? Because, right, right now, the Lord has prophets set up for you to get this truth from through the Spirit so you can seek the Lord. Because the Lord is in control of all things. The Lord is going to be there for his elect. The Lord is going to be there for us. He's going to guide us. He's going to make way for us. All right. But you got to be persuaded in your mind to know. All right. You got to be persuaded in your mind to know. But the main thing is that 
you know, you two thirds, you don't hate knowledge. You don't want this truth right now. You feel comfortable in this society, this system. All right. Verse 23, it says, turn you on my reproof, meaning correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit onto you. I will make known my words unto you. So the Lord is telling you right here that if you seek his prophets, because the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord is through his men. Luke 1 and 70, Matthew 10 and 20, 2nd Edris 15 and 1, Isaiah 58 and 1. All right. The scriptures go all hand in hand about the Lord speaking through his prophets. So the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord is through his men who are the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Those are the men that you need to get this truth from. All right. Because the Lord, that's the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord. Verse 24, because I have called and ye refuse, Jake refused. They don't want the truth. They feel comfortable here in this society. They, they love the benefit, so-called benefits here. Those benefits are going to run out. I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. It says, but ye have said not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Let me get, let me get, let me get the full chapter. <laughs> Salakia. Um, was down, down, down. There we go. You didn't want correction, man. You know, you didn't you didn't want correction. All right. You, you didn't want you didn't want correction. Verse 26, it says, I will laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh. Right. Because you got two thirds out there that came by the camps of the elders. You know, just probably just bringing out an example. They come by the camp. They scoff. They mock. They laugh. They try to uh, make a scene and talk about Jesus love everybody and all this madness. You you mock the message of the Lord, you know. The scriptures say the most high is not mocked for whatsoever a man sow, if he should also reap it. And that also go for the Israelite two third Israelite women as well. You fall in with that with that with that uh, group, man. All right. You fall in with that. So the Lord's going to laugh at you in your distress. All right. The Lord's going to mock when your fear cometh. Verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish shall come upon you. Because in that time, you Israelite women are going to be bugged out in that time. You're not going to know what to do. You're going to be freaking out, you know, you're going to be way bugged out, man. All right. Verse 28. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. It says, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. You're not going to be able to find the Lord. All right. I'm going to call them back in a minute, but you ain't going to be able to find the Lord because you had time to get it, but you didn't choose to get it. Verse 29. For they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. You didn't choose to fear the Lord, man. It says they would none of my counsel, but they despise all my reproof. It says, verse 31, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Verse 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And that's what's going to happen. You're going to be destroyed because you refuse to come out of the ways of society. The scriptures say that this isn't your rest and you're treating it like your rest. Micah 2 and 10. All right. And the scriptures also say in 2 Chronicles 15, 13, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of power of Israel shall be destroyed. Scripture say in Proverbs 3, uh, 13, 13, Scripture say, whoso despise the word shall be destroyed, man. So you're going to be destroyed. If you don't come out of the ways of this society and you keep feeling comfortable and not looking at the things that are taking place, you got gas that is going dry, unavailable. Food, food prices are skyrocketing. Food is, is going to go scarce. There ain't going to be no food, man. And I'll read this comment that this, uh, I don't know if he was a Jake or not, what this guy John Doe said. I'll read this in. I ended with this. It says this should really. It says this should really help destroy the economy, and it's going to destroy the economy. All right, gas is rising up. That's already destroying the economy. All right, gas rising up, food prices rising up. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, shortages of food. That's going to destroy the economy. All right, supply is not able to be given to these stores. That's going to destroy the economy. That affects the economy. So, hey, man, we're in the last days. Lord one us. That's what's edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praise to Yahweh Shema Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the old elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered out there, pushing forth this word of truth, sincerity. Lord one us. That's what's edifying. Next time I say, shalom.